Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a potential free airdrop that could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Check this out. My free DYDX airdrop is worth $900,000. Good morning. For those wondering, 6,400 tokens, 10 wallets, traded 200K back and forth on each wallet to qualify for a high volume tier. And then you can see this as well, 103 tokens by ENS. You are eligible for the airdrop. And this was actually mine a week or two ago. And I sold this for $4,500. I actually traded it for one Ethereum and I'm going to go into how you guys can earn airdrops. So airdrops are very popular. Um, they are given out for marketing purposes. They're also given to early users of protocols or supporters. So let's go into one protocol that I think may be giving out uh, airdrops and you have to actually use the protocol and their test network. So if we look at ZK Sync, which is the coin we're looking at today, um, you'll see, will ZK Sync have a native token? Yes when and how can I get the token? So this is on their tokenomics. You can come right here. So our efforts and focus have been so far dedicated to the development of ZK Sync and its security. Any announcements from ZK Sync can be found on Discord, Telegram, and Twitter. If we move to their Medium article, um, you can see here also they say, PS, we have some very exciting news coming soon. Stay up to date. So to uh, potentially get involved with their airdrop we're gonna use their protocol we're gonna use their test network and then we're gonna bridge over some funds from uh, ethereum l2 to Z Sync, which is uh, l2 uh, l1 to an l2 so we'll do all of that together we'll launch the app right now and we're going to have to switch networks this will actually uh, allow zk uh, sync test network so we'll switch that over and now we're on a test network so everything here is um not real not real funds so if we're going to request tokens from a faucet to get free tokens please tweet from your account with our pre-populated text the pre-populated text will use the hash of your wallet address in order to protect your privacy so i have successfully tweeted that and um, now i got the test net funds 300 dollars usdc and then we're going to actually make some test transactions as well so you can see that i actually got hooked up with a few other different types of coins die link and wbtc so let's go ahead and let's make some transactions we're going to trade a hundred percent of our usdc um, for some link tokens so we're gonna approve this transaction and then we are going to swap notice how quick this is um, and then we're going to swap so pretty smooth let's make another transaction let's let's buy more link coin let's just stack up some link coin um, and then yeah very easy to use uh, and then hopefully this will actually allow us to get an airdrop from ZK Sync for using their testnet. We're gonna actually do more. We're gonna go, um, so we can request testnet uh, FOSA tokens. So I think I just claimed more, as you can see here. I accidentally claimed more, um, which you can just switch your MetaMask accounts and keep doing. So very easy to do. Um, and then just make as many swaps as you want. I'm pretty sure uh, if they do have an airdrop that we should have qualified for it. So the next step would be going to uh, zksync wallet.zksync.io and all the links are posted below and then connecting your wallet. So as I mentioned, you're connecting your MetaMask. There's other types of wallets that you connect to as well. We're gonna switch back to the Ethereum network. So now our, uh, our wallet is attached, we are connected. We are going to move forward and uh, we are going to move some funds from the Ethereum network, from the L1 to the L2. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna add funds here and uh, we're gonna select token, which is Ethereum. We're gonna do 0 0.1, and we're going to move those funds over um, to the L2. So it is gonna cost us $52 in Ethereum to do so, 
but we'll do that just because we want to qualify. Wow, that took long. That's why we have protocols like ZK Sync coming out to help Ethereum scale uh, without compromising on any of the security. So let's go and move forward. We have our 0.1 on the L2 right now. You can see them in balances um, and you can see that Ethereum is right here, $450. You can go to NFTs, you can mint an NFT, you can add contacts, and then you can check your history so you can see that we actually deposited uh, 0.1 ETH uh, from L1 to L2. So let's actually send this back to the L1. Um, so we're gonna transfer, sign a message uh, to verify the account. Okay, easy as that. We're gonna do the max. We're gonna send two, so we don't have any contacts. If I had a contact, I would send it off, um, but I'm just gonna send it back to the uh, L1. So not enough ETH to send, um, Okay, let's send a little bit more. 0. Point, I have 0 0.8557. 0 0.085. I can just click the max button right here. Okay, so I'm going to send the max back. Um, I got eaten up on some of the fees, but hopefully this airdrop recovers. We are sending funds back to Ethereum L1. You're about to send funds back to friend loss. Make sure that you verify uh, the recipient, support smart contract transactions. Once sent, you will see your funds on the L1 between 30 minutes and seven hours. If you're trying to send to an exchange, the best method is to first send to your own address, then to an exchange. I understand, let's get this going. Okay, awesome. So we're now sending it back to the Ethereum network and it's easy as that. So we have now used the test network to swap uh, just some random coins and then we've actually transferred uh, Ethereum from the L1 to the L2 and then we sent it back to the L1, uh, just incurring a little bit of fees, but now we've potentially uh, qualified to get this airdrop. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys have any airdrop coins that you think are coming out, post them below, we'll review them.